You join me today in Charlotte, North Carolina at the new North Lake Supercharger. I'm about to take this Tesla Model Y on a 70 mile an hour range test to see what we can get out of it. But this Tesla Model Y has a little bit of a secret up its sleeve, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. I just got finished charging it up to 100%, so that way we could zipper on out into the highway with the battery nice and toasty. Today, it's a beautiful day. Obviously, it's severely overcast and there's a bunch of smoke in the sky from the fires out west. But just hang out, we'll get in the car, start driving, we'll talk about what the secrets are and uh, see how the range test goes. Stick with us. All right, so now that we're out on the road, let's talk about what we're doing today. So I'm gonna be doing a 70 mile an hour range test on this car, and that's gonna involve me driving up and down the highway, kind of making some loops back and forth in each direction. Um, and I'm just going to basically see how much range can I get out of this car from 100% down to hopefully I pull into the charging station right at 0%. Uh, we'll see how it goes and I'll keep everyone updated with each leg of this. But um, I also wanted to talk about what is special about this car. So the car that I have that I bought a couple months ago is a 2021 Tesla Model Y standard range. Now the interesting thing about the standard range Model Y is that it was only made for about a month. So uh, there's not a lot of people that have these. Um, I think initially whenever they started, they put it online, they probably made you know a good handful of them. And I don't know that many people bought them. So what ended up happening was um, a little bit after they released the car, which they initially had listed on their website for 41.9. They decided to get rid of whatever inventory they had and maybe boost some sales for the end of the quarter, I don't know. Um, but they decided to get rid of whatever inventory they had. And for three days, they had it listed on their website for uh, 39.9 down from 41.9. And that's when I jumped on one of these. And I mainly did that because I had a 2020 Tesla Model 3 standard range plus before. And I needed the extra cargo space. But what was the advantage of me going up to a Model Y where I didn't really need the longest range and pay all that money and stuff. So whenever this one came out at 41.9, I was like, oh, okay, maybe, all right, let's think about it. And then as soon as it hit where it was only $500 more than I paid for my standard range plus Model 3, I was like, I'm doing this. So I did it and three days later, it was completely vanished off their website. So I'm glad that I did it when I did it. Alrighty, so we just crossed past 75% uh, and we hit that right at 48 miles. Um, I will note that um, I'm doing this test in uh, loop style, so that should negate any concerns that we have as far as uh, wind or elevation changes or things like that. And I will say up until now, um, there's been a lot of uphill, but I'm about to turn around uh, in a little bit for this next leg and uh, head back in the other direction where I came from. So um, I think that that might be some of the worst that we see out of this, but I'm not 100% sure. I guess we'll just have to drive it and find out. All right, now fast forward ahead and with the car, what made me really want to switch and where I really feel like I, I benefited from this transaction um, was I, with the standard range plus Model 3, you don't get any of the premium features. And with this car for the extra $500, I did. So now I have uh, heated front and rear seats. I have a heated steering wheel, 
um, the ambient floor lighting. My car actually came with floor mats. Um, I have uh, the fog lamps, a power trunk, and all this extra cargo space basically for an extra $500. And it was just a deal that I couldn't pass up. Um, I think this car is great. Uh, it's great for me, it's great for what I use it for. I mainly just use it to commute around town for work and stuff like that, but I do take it on road trips as well and I plan on doing that a lot here, um, actually between now and the end of the year. So we'll see, I'll probably end up going to Florida a couple times, I might end up going up to New York, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, somewhere in there. And um, I, you know, it's a great car for all of that, but it's not going to necessarily meet everyone's needs, I guess, all the time because of the range. But what this car is perfect for, and more people should have taken advantage of it, was if it is your second car. If it's the car that's going to take the kids to school every day. If it's the car that's going to go to the grocery store. That's going to be what you drive to go out to eat at night. That's what this car is perfect for. And it's perfect for the people that want to take it on road trips too. It can do the road trips. It just takes a little bit of extra charging. So I think a lot of people really you know, slept on this car and they didn't get it in time uh, before Tesla took it off the website. And I still think that people don't take great advantage of the standard range plus uh, Model 3s as well. So I don't know, we'll see where Tesla goes with all this in the future and what they decide to offer. But I honestly love the value in this car. Um, I love driving it every day. And the one thing that I have been curious about is if I was really trying to uh, eke all of the efficiency out of it, see what this car could offer from 100% down to zero. That's the only thing that I haven't tested, even though I have taken it on road trips uh, to Jacksonville, Florida and such. Um, but yeah, we'll see what we can get out of a full charge and I'll keep you guys updated along the way. Stay tuned. Alright, so we just crossed through to the 50% mark. Uh, we added on another 50 miles and we are at a total of 98 right now. Uh, we're averaging about uh, between 250 and 255 watt hours per mile, which is really good. And uh, just to note, this car, as you saw in the beginning, does have the aero wheels, rear wheel drive. It's like the most efficient Model Y that you can buy. Or I guess you can't buy it. So if you want one, have fun trying to find a used one. Okay, we just crossed the 25% mark. Um, we added another 48 miles this round as well. So I feel like this is getting pretty consistent. Um, should put us right there at the end, right at 190 or so miles. Um, and I think that that's probably what we can expect. We'll see how this last little leg of the trip goes. Well, folks, there you have it. In my 70 mile an hour range test, we did 200 miles exactly. It did 200.2 total, but the supercharger was about 0.2 miles off the highway. So there we go. 
uh, 50 kilowatt hours of usage and kept about 70 miles an hour the whole way except for the times that we turned around to head back in the other direction and um, yeah it couldn't have been better it's great out today I'm glad that I got to do this and finally really figure out like what the car can do if you keep it at a constant 70 and um, yeah it's just good to give some people some numbers so thanks for watching everybody I appreciate it and we'll catch you next time